big one, TPAC. We're going to look at this a couple of times this semester, so don't panic too much if it all seems like Greek at the moment. TPAC is a big concept, but really at the heart of it, what it is, is the, the ability for a good teacher, a teacher that understands what they've got to teach and the way they've got to teach it, and they understand how technology impacts that. So that's basically essentially what TPAC is. It's a teacher that knows what good teaching is and how to use technology to enhance that teaching. Uh, it's about you know, um, repurposing existing technical tools for use in class. ICT generally is not education based. So teachers that want to use ICT in the classroom have to be able to repurpose it, which takes some technical knowledge. So TPAC um, is, consists of three separate areas, and they've been studied for a long, two of these areas have been studied for a long time. Content knowledge is about the knowledge that a teacher has of the subject that they're teaching. So if, particularly in a secondary setting, science teachers know science. They know scientific theories, they know scientific method, they probably don't know so much about art theory, although, correct me if I'm wrong, but their main area of focus is scientific methods and um, theories. In a primary school it's a little bit different because primary school teachers kind of need to be all over everything, but in a secondary school content knowledge is quite um, specifically subject based. Pedagogical knowledge is the knowledge of teaching. So it's about how to teach and how to teach well. It's about how learners learn, it's about how classroom management works, behaviour management, how to structure lessons so that they'll be effective, how to motivate students. Um, how to group students, all of those sorts of things are pedagogical knowledge. And technological knowledge is about knowing IT. It's not just knowing how to turn a computer on or create a PowerPoint. It's about knowing how technology works, knowing when it's good, when it doesn't work so well, when it's going to get in the way of what you need to do, and the knowledge of being able to apply technology knowledge across lots of situations. If you know how to use um, um, Wikipedia, for example, you'll know how to use another kind of wiki. If you know how to use a PowerPoint presentation program, type program, you can probably pick up any other presentation program and figure out how it works. That's a bit like what um, technology knowledge is. PCK, or pedagogical content knowledge, is about knowing what to teach, when to teach it, and how to teach it. So it's about sequencing content so that you're not, not teaching three-digit multiplication before you teach simple times tables. It's about knowing what order subjects need to be going in. It's about teaching, adapting your teaching content to the different learning styles of your students. It's not something that you need to learn. You probably know this already as good teachers and you'll learn that more as you go through your degree. But the content that you teach influences the way that you teach it and the way that you teach influences the content. If you're a PE teacher, you're probably not going to te uh, teach a motor skills class in a lecture situation. You might do a little lecture at the beginning, but the general bulk of your lesson is not going to be, this is how you throw a ball, here's the theory. Students need to practice that. Okay? So that's pedagogical content knowledge, knowing what instructional method suits the content. And this is dry stuff, I know, but we'll get there. Technology content knowledge is about how the technology affects and constrains the content. So uh, for an art teacher, there are millions of artworks available online now. So that might change the type of content that you can teach. In the past, you were restricted to the couple of um, posters that you might have in the classroom or the couple of books that you have in the library. Now you've got almost a whole world of art available for you online that you can share with your students. So the content that you can teach around art history or art methods changes. So that's how technology may influence content. Uh, in science, you know, your data loggers are much, will give you much more accurate results than you could from just observations and things like that. So that the way that you're teaching the science or the content that you're teaching in science can become maybe a bit more granular or a bit more specific. So technology can influence content and content can influence technology. And then TPK is technological pedagogical knowledge which is when the technology impacts the pedagogy or the pedagogy impacts the technology. For example, if you've got an IWB in your classroom, the classroom's set up a certain way already. All the desks face the, the board. So it's set up in a way that really doesn't facilitate maybe things like group work and things like that. So the influence of the projector at the front of the room influences the type of pedagogy that you are able to um, use in your classroom. We'll, we will get into this in more detail 
in the future. If you had an iPad in your class, if every student had an iPad, that would change the way that you taught the, 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 way that you taught the, the lesson. Um, if you only had five, you would have to reconsider the way you grouped students, you know, that kind of thing, or the way that you instructed. And of course, when you're looking at TPAC, which is the intersection of all of those things, that example again, if you've got a whole class full of iPads, then number one, that means that students can do individual learning, so that's changed the pedagogy. You're not just doing one-on-one, -on -one, you're not doing group work, you're not doing pair work, but it also might change the content. If everybody's able to work on a device all at once, then what you can teach is different because they all have access to the same type of tool. So you might be able to teach um, more um, specifically about certain skills like um, grammar or things like that where, or word skills where students can each work on their own individual um, technology device. So TPAC is about the intersection of all those three areas of knowledge. So it's about pedagogy influencing, influencing technology and content and all of those other things and how they work together. As I said, it sounds complicated, but it's an important theory that people are working on to give us an idea of how we can improve teacher education. You guys as new teachers are going to be all over technology and pedagogy and content knowledge because you're learning it now. It's this, this kind of theory is embedded into all of the units that you'll do in your um, Bachelor of Education or your um, any of your education degrees. But the, the teachers that are out there, that's where this research is focused, on how to improve the technological aspect of that. The teachers in schools already that have got 20 years experience might have great pedagogical and content knowledge, but new technologies are something that need to be interwoven with that. 